Welcome back to the Tennessee Frugal Craftsman. I'm over at my friend's shop here. Um, I finally got set up. I'm going to give sharpening, my own sharpening, a try here. And I'll show you the setup um, that I'm doing now in all, in full disclosure. I actually saw this on uh, a website, on a YouTube channel, where uh, someone had um, proposed or have been doing it, sharpening their blades this way. And so I thought, well, I'm going to give it a whirl. At about 8 to $10 a blade to get sharpened, I thought this was the best way to do it. So this is what I have. Went over to Harbor Freight and picked up just a cheap uh, double grinder here. This will cost about $54. Then I went and picked up on Amazon um, a diamond, uh, I guess they call them a, a diamond uh, wheel, grinding wheel dresser. Show you what they look like. There's two of them that come, and all I did, I'll just come in here close, I shaped this wheel, come around so you can see it, I shaped the wheel in the shape of, and it didn't take much, it took me maybe 10 minutes to adjust this, and I shaped it, got an old broken blade here, did a little experimenting, with this broken blade and you can see here so you try to do this so it'll zero in on it sorry it's focusing on everything but uh, what I did yeah, it's not going to want to focus in but I shaped that as you can see I'll get right in close um, I shaped the wheel until I actually had it. You can see there, there's no light in around that. Um, and then what I've been doing is I was just experimenting. I put a little angle. You can see the, I scratch, scribed a line right here on the angle I need to run my, my uh, blade on. So you can kind of see that's kind of the angle where I'm going. And that gets over here what that does is it gives me the complete gullet and then I just give it a little bit of a wind or a pull that way and it gets the top of that and then this here on this side what I did is I angled the just in about a quarter of an inch I angled this uh, grinding wheel back in that way and all again all I did is I just took my dressing tool and I held it right there just for a split second and got a little bit of an angle on it. And so when that's on there, that will actually grind the full gullet and the front of this. And then I just, like I said, pull it off, go to the next one, pull it off, go to the next one. What you're trying to do, obviously, is get down in the gullet itself and get those micro cracks and give it another sharpening see there again I'm just experimenting with this and so I'm getting ready to do an actual blade here and so I'll set up here in a bit um, once I get this all hooked up I'm at my friend's shop and so we're gonna try this and see how it works if it works uh, so be it I'll let you know okay I've got a I've done two tonight um, just wanted to see how long it took to do one. This one took me about 15, 16 minutes. Um, now that I kind of got a feel for how this is working, uh, I will come back and finish the video when I put it on the saw. Hopefully I'll try to get that maybe Thursday or Saturday in the next few days and we'll see what it's going to work like. If it cuts, then hey, it's going to be a, a money changer or money saver for me. Um, just a couple points that I want to note here on the grinder. Um, this little mark right here that I put on, you can see that I ran 
I put a knife mark right here. That's really important. That's helped me a lot to keep the blade when I set it on, keep it going straight. But this angle is working very well for the most part. So, yeah, it's. I'll let you know. I'll come back and finish the video another time. Okay, that's given me a, a really, I mean those points are really sharp now. So I'll come back and finish the video when I put one on. And see you next time. Okay, this is a resharpened blade. Test, let's do it.
Okay, initial impressions of the blade. Uh, it cuts like butter and it cuts straight. So it is working. I'm going to change my battery out. Um, as you can see, these, these sticks are extremely crooked. So this is a tree. It's going to take some work. I'll bring it back for another log.
Okay, I did that crooked, crooked piece. And as you can see, two, four, let's see, two, four, six, eight pieces of wood. Now they're about five feet long. Um, I'll use them for something. Like I said, even if I cut them in half and use them for strapping, there, there's not a lot of knots and there's just a few, but it's better than just chopping up and burning it. But it was a crooked piece, so. I'm gonna do a little bit more milling here. It's getting a little dark, but I think I'll sign off for the day. Uh, got the the uh, overall assessment on the resharpening of the blades. I really like it. Um, I've put about mm, three quarters of an hour on that blade since I've resharpened it, and it's really it's cutting like butter. Um, that's definitely the way I'm going to move forward at this point. If I can get, you know, 15, 20 hours out of a blade, I mean, that's more than, more than I'd ever expect. I mean, I've got five on that blade now, and I've, I'm starting my second. This is the, after the, uh, uh, the, the sharpening. Uh, so I've got five and three quarters hours on it. So if I can get up to 10 before I sharpen it again, put another five on it, and we'll see. Uh, I know that at some point they do get too brittle to, and they'll start breaking, but hey, I'll get as much out of them as possible. It only takes about 15 minutes to sharpen them, um, and I'm not worrying about the set on those double hard because they seem to hold their set pretty good, especially in the softwood. I'm not overly concerned. If it was hardwood, uh, the set would probably be a little more important. So anyway, until next time, as always, I appreciate you joining me, uh, and if you would, please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time. Until then, you have a great day.